Meanwhile, UN agencies have called for the sending of medical supplies for access to the Gaza Strip as medics seek to cope with thousands of injuries sustained during 11 days of fighting between Israel and Hamas that risks overwhelming some facilities. World Health Organization spokeswoman Margaret Harris told a virtual UN briefing that some 8,538 injuries had been reported, saying they risked overwhelming health facilities. She also called for immediate access to health supplies and personnel into the Gaza Strip, where nearly half of the essential drugs have run out, and for the establishment of humanitarian corridors. Yes, indeed, we've recorded significant trauma needs, the substantial fatalities and injuries are overwhelming the health facilities. As you know, um, 257 people have died, but there are also 8,538 injured across the OPT requiring um, considerable treatment. And, and there have been health attacks on 117 facilities since the start of Ramadan, 89 in the West Bank, 28 in the Gaza Strip. Caution that end of uh, military activities means going back to normal. Going back to normal here has uh, some elements that are just not normal. The first one is we're still in COVID. We had uh, seen just before the war started the, e the beginning of the end of the second wave. And many of us are very worried that during these 10 days of war, we, we may have, in fact, seen the beginning of the third wave because, of course, precautionary measures and so on were not adhered to. Um, today, focus should be uh, on, on, on reconstruction, recovery and, and healing. Um, the damage which were in, infli inflicted in less than two weeks will require, unfortunately, years, if not decades, uh, to, to be addressed and, and rebuilt. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.